Hey guys, it's your girl. I'm Carissa. And I'm Amber. And y'all know we are Naturally GG. So we just wanted to come to y'all real quick today to talk about something really important that affects most people and especially women. Yes. And that is the effects of your hormones on your skin, hair, and nails. Yes. And you know, this was just a topic that we thought was important to share because we have lots of knowledge on this topic. Amber's a family nurse practitioner. I am in the postpartum period after having my baby and I experienced some hormonal fluctuations and it can get real, y'all. If you yeah. don't have your hormones in check, if you don't know what to look for on your doctor's visits, your hormones can really be the cause of a lot of the symptoms that you might be experiencing. Absolutely. I see hormone imbalance every single day. It's so very common and often very undertreated as well. So one common thing that I see is hypothyroidism. So that's basically an under-functioning thyroid. So some symptoms of that can be hair shedding, dry skin, fatigue, weight gain, brittle thin nails, um, and it just, your thyroid affects everything. It, it regulates does. your metabolism. It definitely does. So hypothyroidism is something I see in my practice every single day. It's so very common, and it's often undertreated as well. So a really common cause of like hair thinning and shedding and breaking is hypothyroidism. And what's crazy is a lot of women don't even realize that hypothyroidism is actually the cause of their symptoms. And I know this personally, like Carissa's hair has gotten so much thicker. So much thicker. With her thyroid medication. <laughs> so fortunately, um, when I was trying to get pregnant, we were watching all of my blood work very closely and I did have an excellent doctor who said, well, hey, it looks like your thyroid is basically not functioning to the best of its ability. So let's do something about that. And so I was then put on um, thyroid medication and since then, I feel like it really helped me a lot to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, I'm still on it actually. I think it really helped my hair become thicker, stronger, um, and it just helped give me more energy and really has been really, really helpful. So if you are experiencing any of these symptoms, we highly advise that you mention it to your doctor. Oftentimes, this type of check isn't regular. It's not gonna be a part of the regular checkup. So go ahead and say, I wanna know how my thyroid is mm -hmm. functioning. Absolutely. And if you have those symptoms and your thyroid is technically within normal limits, that's considered subclinical hypothyroidism and that can still be treated if you are having those symptoms. Exactly. So I'm not, we both aren't really fans of medication, but mm -hmm. this is actually the medication I like to prescribe because it helps people in tremendous ways. So yeah. like Carissa says, seek your healthcare provider if you think you have those symptoms. So another thing that can affect your hormones, your endocrine system, is your diet. I mean, diet is crucial. It's a huge deal. Yes, fruits, vegetables, water, non-processed, non-GMO, organic foods, those are really important to help nourish your endocrine system. It's so many chemicals that we come in contact with that take a hit to our endocrine system, it's just really important to be mindful of that. Yeah, and a lot of it is honestly out of our control. Like, if you live in a certain city where your environmental factors are causing some health effects, Houston. <laughs> air quality. Well, Houston isn't as bad as a lot of cities, but I will say a lot of that stuff, try not to stress or worry about it, but the things that we can't control when you are grocery shopping, just try to be mindful. A lot of labels, they'll try to sell you anything, but really try to pay attention to the ones that say non-GMO, uh, no antibiotic. So another main component of one's lifestyle that might cause these crazy symptoms like weight gain, hair loss, insomnia, is actually stress. Stress is a really, really important element that we should try to eliminate from our lifestyle as much as possible. Absolutely, stress is actually another silent killer. It has really negative effects on the body, including elevating your cortisol, which also has other effects as well. Not to mention it can cause anxiety, uh, hypertension. So like really, uh, it's, it's important so important to regulate your stress. I mean, elevated cortisol can lead to weight gain. It takes a hit to your immune system. It leads to acne. It leads to insomnia. Just a lot of bad things you don't want. And so just, you know, we, we know some of this, some of this we've heard before. This is definitely your reminder, sis. And to reduce stress in your life, I would definitely suggest meditation like as a new mom as someone who's an entrepreneur my husband is also an entrepreneur so our household is nuts we're all we feel like we're always working we have a newborn and it's just really important for me to kind of retreat in my own way every day moms okay you deserve it 
find some time and just disconnect listen to music take a bath do your hair like anything that is relaxing to you self-care is of the utmost importance and it will help you reduce your stress levels thus maybe saving your life or elongating your life yes and over time this is getting a little scientific but elevated cortisol can lead to adrenal fatigue which has really really bad effects on the body so just like carissa said really try your best to reduce your stress even as a working you know woman nine to five yeah. monday through friday and also dealing with life outside of that that's stressful as well so yeah, it is yeah i mean life has so many stressors life is not easy so <laughs> it's really important to take time for yourself and to just decompress and you deserve that we love y'all so much we will be providing more helpful links in our description box below we want y'all to read do your own research and you know just make healthier lifestyle choices if you are doing something that we haven't covered in this video we want you to leave us a comment let us know how you're either you know keeping your hormones balanced and in check what kind of foods you're eating to really contribute to a healthier lifestyle what are your stress relieving activities we want to hear it leave us a comment below y'all we're, we're having this conversation it's yes. important knowledge is power and health is everything um so we're really big on health and wellness so this is this isn't really important yes so again guys thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for supporting us as always we love y'all so much and we'll see y'all in the next video see ya bye. bye hey that was good sis all right brown skin girl my favorite song right now skin just like girl the same thing in the world i never paid you for anybody else singing